Today we're going to talk about the preview box located in the QImage Ultimate editor screen. And it's a live box. It's a very interesting box, a very useful and versatile box. So let's have a look. Okay, we're going to put this image into the queue by clicking on the plus. And if you already notice, if you're sharp, you can see both these girls have red eyes caused mostly from the flash and it bounces and causes red eye. Okay, I'm going to double click in the middle of the image, bring you into the editor. Here we are. I'm going to right click. This is the important part. I'm going to right click in the area of interest. This happens to be her red eye. Okay, and there's our preview box, the one we're demonstrating. Okay, I have the ability to magnify it a little more, so I can click in here at 2x. And to do red eye, I have to remember to click this button onto the red eye dot. Put my pointer in the center of the eye, drag to the left, a little more. There we are. Okay? Look how easy. Right click on the other eye. Notice I'm right clicking on the big image, not trying to move this thing around in here because that isn't the way it's designed to work. Okay, we've got our pointer in the center of the eye, dragging to the left. There we are. Red eye done. I can do her just as easily. Right click. Remember, right click. And drag to the left. Gets rid of the red eye. Just as simple as that. Okay. Look how easy. Took no time at all. Okay. I'm going to say OK on this guy. That will apply this preview box, what we did in there. It applies it to the big image. And that's done. So I'm going to say done. I'm going to say save my filter that I just did. Watch the red eye disappear. Gone. OK. I'll remove this one from the queue. And I'll show you another little trick here. We're going to take this image and put it in there. Again, double click in the middle to go into the editor. And if you'll notice, this girl has a little bit of a blemish over here. Okay? I'm going to right click on the blemish. And that'll open the preview box. There's our blemish. I can make it bigger if I want to. But dot goes in the blemish box. Okay? Put your pointer right about at the edge of it. Drag to the right. How you like that for magic? You think there might be a little... You can go on top of it if you want to. There we go. That's more magic. That's all there is to it. So we've done two things. We've done red eye. We've done blemish. And we've showed you the important part. If I wanted to look at her teeth or anything, I just click on the teeth and it would move up any place you want to put it. Okay, I'm going to say OK on this guy. And here we are. Blemish is gone. Red eye is fixed. And we're going to say done. Okay. That one's done. And now we'll go to one more image just to give you a little drama. Okay. And we have our pussycat. There he is. Again, double click in the middle. We bring up the editor box. We've got some serious red eye. Here, some serious red eye. Okay. Now, you can do animals as well as you can do people. Remember, put the dot in the red eye. Okay. So now I take my pointer in the middle, drag it over to the left, and there she is. Okay. And that's uh, that's a pretty good demonstration of a difficult one. All right, now one more thing I want to show you. Let me get rid of this box. It would go away as soon as I said OK here, but I want to give you a little more demonstration. If you notice here, I have a few things. I've got a little bit of sharpening. I've got a little bit of negative fill light. Okay. Now, if I change the fill light, it's a live box. So if I changed it to minus 4, it made the live image darker. The fact that I touched this control will automatically bring up the box anyway, but it also sets this yellow button to look at the last thing you touched. So if I hold it down, you can see the difference with the added negative fill light 
and without. Okay, if I change it to a three, you'll see the live change. See it? Okay, so it's a live box. That's the important part. All right, let me say OK over here, and I'll bring it up by touching something else, so you'll see what I mean. If I touch this radius control and I say a two, it brings up the box. Okay. It also sets the yellow button to the last thing we touch. Now let's hold it down. And you'll see the amount of sharpness. That's a little heavy. So I'm going to put it back to the 1. Okay, like that. And there she goes. Check it. Okay, now we have the fill light and we have the sharpness. If I hold the green button, it's showing me both off and on. So you got so much versatility in here. Okay, enjoy it. It's wonderful. It works easy. Just remember, right click on the big image to locate the spot that you want to work on. Okay, thank you very much.